Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add multiple slideshows uh, throughout your WordPress website. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys to web presence, put you in the fast lane of success. Learn more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. Previously we made a similar tutorial to this, but that plugin, while it does work great, does since it is flash driven, it does not work on an iPhone or an iPad. So if that's a concern to you, this will be a better plugin to use. There's a table of contents below if you need to skip ahead at any time. Um, with that, we'll get started. First thing you're going to do is go to the dashboard and go to plugins and hit add new. The name of the plugin is Meteor Slides. So you're going to search for that. I also put a link below in the description that will um, take you to the direct download link if you want to do it that way. Or you could just do what I just did and search and hit install and activate. Now that that's installed, you'll notice on the left-hand column that there is a um, new option under comments, uh, on my screen anyway, called Slides. Hover over that and hit Slideshows. And I'm going to add in my slideshows. You can add, in, add more slideshows at any time, but I'm just going to add two right off the bat. So I'm going to say Test Slideshow, Test, and then in the slug, no spaces, just dashes if you need a space. So test dash slide show All right hit add new and I'm gonna do test slide show two and here test two All right now we get two slideshows perfect now I'm going to adjust the initial settings. So go to the settings. Before I want to do this before I have my slides. Typically, I just usually change this number to 10. And you you will be able to, and I will show you in this tutorial how to have different size slideshows on um, different pages if you want that. Um, but these settings here, you want to put in whatever your biggest slideshow is going to be. Um, you want to have the, those numbers in here. So for me, that's 600 wide by 400 high. All right, there's a whole variety of transition styles that you can choose from. And once you install this plugin and you start playing around with it, you can try to you can get the one that you like. I'm just going to go with the fade. That's um, nice and smooth. Uh, transition speed. You know how fast the image actually flashes and then how long the slide duration is how long this slide will show so I'm going to change that to three I want it to be real quick so that I can demonstrate that this works <laughs> uh, navigation I prefer just like the uh, transition style you can play around with it until you get the one you want I just prefer previous and next all right now I'm going to hit save changes now we're ready to add some slides so on the left side, go to Slides and then Add New. All right, and the title it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it's not going to show actually on the slide. So I usually, so I'm going to be adding a couple pictures of cupcakes. We recently did a website for a uh, cupcake shop, so I'm just going to put those in. So I'll say cupcake, cupcake one, set featured image. I'm gonna select files. And I'm going to do cupcakes and say a cup, we'll do, make them different, do the pink background. Actually, since that took so long, I didn't click on the ones that were sized. It's another thing you want to try to have your all your images resized before you upload them. Otherwise, this website will be loading a picture that's 3,200 pixels wide. So I'm just going to delete that right real quickly here. Go back. All right, so let's click on this one. All right, now now that it's uploaded, you want to hit Use as Featured Image, and there it is. Slide link. You can actually make the each image link to whatever you want. Um, I don't want it to link to anything, so I'm just going to put in that pound symbol. And now on the right, you'll notice you have your two slideshows. I'm going to put it in the first one. Publish. All right, I'm going to add one more picture to that slideshow, cupcake two. 
slide link, test slideshow. Okay. And that's all it is. You can keep adding slides and to have different slideshows. You have your slideshows on the right. All you have to do is assign it to a different one. Um, you can assign the same image to the same slideshows if you wanted to have have that. Um, but that's really, you know, it doesn't make sense for us to have to go through this whole process adding images to do different slideshows when you can get the idea. Uh, what we should move on to is adding the slideshow that you want, whichever one it is, to the page. Okay, so we're going to select the page we want to add it to. I'm just going to go to my home page first. I'm going to add it to the About Us page. Okay. Click in there, and it is a short code, so you're going to hit. Um, I put the short code in the description of the video. And you can also go to the plugins website to get more, de more any, any other uh, detailed, more complicated short codes that you want. So that's the short code. I'm going to put in the name um, of my slideshow, test-slideshow, update, all right, view on page, and there it is, sliding perfectly, just like we wanted. Now the last thing we'll go over uh, to wrap things up is having a different size slideshow on different pages. All right, that's just a different short code. Um, I'll, I also put that short code in the description. And again, the biggest slideshow needs to be defined in the settings. But if you're going to be doing one smaller, um, that's where you do it here. So I'm going to paste in that short new short code. I'm going to need to do the name again. Let's see, test slideshow. And it was 600 by 400 before, so now I'm going to make it. This is actually good. It's half the size, so um, I'm going to make this 200. Whoops, 300 by 200. All right, I'm going to hit update. Now we'll refresh this page. And there you go. It's automatically resized for you, and it's sliding just the way you want. All right, so this is another tut tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials will give you the keys to your web presence, put you in the fast lane to success. A whole bunch more on our website at startcompete.com tutorials.